resolve. Remember the word resolve. When you step on this field, you have to have the resolve that this is going to be a championship football team. Resolve. It's been the cornerstone of the St. Louis Rams since they arrived in the Gateway City 10 years ago. Call it an unwritten law of the land. Feels good today. You are a man and you're a Ram. Looking up the field, throws up to Isaac Bruce. He got it. Yes. Touchdown, Isaac Bruce. It's a law that governs the fans as well, whose support has never wavered. Through the mediocre and the metric. The Super Season ends for the Super Bowl victory for the Rams. The players and coaches have embodied that tenacity throughout the 10 years in St. Louis. And in this, their anniversary season, the Rams' resolve was more evident than ever. The message was simple in 2004. The Rams preached it week after week. Never give up. The St. Louis Rams given up for dead a couple of weeks ago. Have shown heart, character, and determination. The St. Louis Rams are headed to the playoffs. the adversity that most tested that result. And I don't think I envisioned me saying this. That's unfair. They're grinding it in on us. But they kept fighting, teaching a season-long lesson in perseverance. A lesson that didn't end until the Rams had made history. Everybody's waiting to see how we gonna respond. Everybody got a feel of fire. We're a bunch of coals stuck together, a lot of heat. Let's go turn up the heat on three. One, two, three, turn up the heat. The heat was on in week one. And the team's most reliable scorer made an early statement. This will be a 50-yard attempt from the right hash mark. Snap back, ball down. Kick is away. It is long enough, and it is good. Jeff Wilkins' 50-yarder vaulted into the top of the Rams' all-time scoring list. He would add two more to his tally, but St. Louis found itself down 10-9 in the third quarter. From there, the Rams turned to a pair of 11-year vets to lead the comeback. Number 28, Marshall Ball, cracked up 128 yards on the ground. And number 80, Isaac Bruce, caught nine balls for 112 yards, including the game-winning touchdown as the Rams won their opener 17-10. What a catch! Touchdown, Rams! Isaac Bruce! Isaac Bruce and Marshall Fogg put on yet another superb showing in 2004. Each one proving his Hall of Fame career isn't over yet. Wide open, Isaac Bruce nice. has got the catch at midfield. Fogg's assault on the all-time grades continue. Marshall Fogg moving up the NFL charts. Passes Barry Sanders for sixth place on the all-time NFL list in total yards. As did Bruce's success through the air his seventh 1,000-yard season. Looking at the end zone, firing, caught, touchdown, Isaac Bruce! Already the Rams' all-time leading receiver, Bruce moved into third place on the league's active list, behind Jerry Rice and Tim Brown. For Falk, the numbers are staggering. Over 18,000 yards from scrimmage, the fourth-highest total of all time. Touchdown, Rams! Marshall now in fourth place in the NFL all-time touchdowns with 132 passing Chris Carter. After two straight losses, the Rams went westward, scheming for a win over their biggest rival, the 49ers. And once again, Bruce and Falk played key roles. Bruce became the first player in over 40 years to start the season with four straight 100-yard games. Unloads the middle, wide open, Isaac Bruce nice. has got the catch at midfield. And Falk poured in 121 yards on the ground, 
as St. Louis put up its most dominant performance of the early season. Looking into the end zone, firing, caught, Sean McDonald, touchdown, Rams. 24-14 win evened up their record at 2-2. Two two. Week 5 saw the Rams visit the Seahawks, where St. Louis dug itself an early hole. Two first-half interceptions led to easy Seattle scores. Hump fakes, unloads, and the scene wide open. Dale Jackson, he's going up, bye-bye. And the Seahawks offense is shredding the Rams defense today here at Quest Field. Down 17 in the fourth quarter, the game appeared all but over. But something magical was brewing in Seattle, and Bulger once again knew all the tricks. The spark the Rams needed came from number 86, Brandon Manu Maliota. Goes in the traffic. What a catch! What a catch by Brandon Manu Maliota for an eight-yard score. What a great job by Big 86 to go up in the air and pull that ball out. That is the catch of his NFL career for Brandon Manu Maliota. The defense did its job on the ensuing Seattle possession, forcing a three and out and a Tom Ruin punt. Need a run back here, a good run back. Puts on the brakes up the middle, 25, 30, Sean McDonald, breaking tackles, coming near side. He picks a great time to rip off his best return of the year. Down 27 to 17 with under four minutes to play, the Rams needed a score, and they needed it quickly. Both of pass and a four-man rush. Kevin Curtis, touchdown Rams! How about that? Woo! A one-play drive, 3.30 to go, and don't count the Rams out yet here in Seattle. After forcing another punt, the Rams face third and seven at the Seattle 34, with 18 seconds left on the clock. The strike to Dane Wilker was all coach Mike Martz needed as he sent Jeff Wilkins on to tie it in the waning seconds. This will be a 36-yard attempt from the right hash mark. Snap back, ball down, kick is up on its way, and it is good! Jeff Wilkins ties it with eight seconds to play here in Seattle. How's that for a fourth quarter comeback? Two minutes into overtime, Bolger officially capped off one of the greatest comebacks in franchise history. Bulger unloads for Sean McDonald. Got it! Sean McDonald! Got it. Touchdown! Yeah! What a comeback! Comeback complete! And the St. Louis Rams make a statement. Awesome win, baby! Awesome win, baby! They're still alive and well in the NFC West. Yeah! Plain and simple. One win the West, gotta beat us. All of them, in fact. All of them, man. Bulger's clutch performance in Seattle was one of many in 2004, as he continued to prove he's at his best when the game's on the line. Quarterback sneak, Mark Bulger on his feet. A 15-yard quarterback sneak by Mark Bulger on fourth and one. Bulger led four fourth-quarter comebacks in 2004 and finished with the second-highest single-season completion percentage in Rams history. He also formed quite a prolific partnership with number 81, Torrey Holt. For the second straight season, Holt led or tied for the NFC lead in receptions. When I'm trying to see it, what I should have done was caught and turned, overexposed myself. And with his 1,372 receiving yards, Holt became the first player in NFL history to surpass the 1,300-yard mark in five straight seasons. Torrey Holt there, got it, touchdown Rams! 32 yards, Mark Bulger to Torrey Holt. Bulger to Holt was the team's highest scoring duo for the second straight season, hooking up for a combined nine touchdowns. Bulger back to pass, pop fakes. Wants the corner route into the end zone. Torrey Holt there, hooked up his man. Torrey makes a great catch, touchdown Rams! Good job, y'all. The Rams came home to face Tampa Bay in week six, still riding the high from Seattle. They look to ride that momentum to their third straight win. Bulger unloads down the middle, Torrey's got it in stride. Torrey Holt will score. 52 yard strike, touchdown Rams. Tied at 14 in the third quarter, the game turned on one of the best plays of the year. 
Michael Pittman dragging Anna Marcheletta inside the 10. Anna Marcheletta took the football away. Anna Marcheletta's on his way to the end zone. Anna Marcheletta with a stunning 92-yard touchdown for the Rams. Are you kidding me? Things were still in doubt late as the Rams clung to a seven-point lead. But the defense would seal the win. Greasy unloads short. It's wide open in the middle. Tim Brown inside the 20. Lost the football. Rams got it. Jeremy Trius Butler falls to the turf, and that should ice the Tampa Bay Bucks. The fourth turnover by Tampa Bay tonight. But back-to-back -back losses had the Rams really. In Week 10 against the Seahawks, they looked to stop the bleeding. Everybody's waiting to see how we gonna respond, huh? They come out and challenge us as men. St. Louis again turned to its defense in the Seattle sequel, ganging up on the Seahawks early and often. We need to turn it over on defense now. Let's go. Turn it over now, baby. Go. Offset eye behind Hasselbeck, two tight end set. Play action for Hasselbeck. Going down the middle, to tight end, it's overthrown, picked off by Jeremy to his Butler, who take a knee in the end zone. Butler's interception sparked the entire unit, and the D continued to make every stop it had to, including this crucial fourth down, late in the third quarter. Damn good job in it. That's the way to come out and show them what's up. Let's keep their ass going, huh, corner. But the defense wasn't through until number 35, Aeneas Williams, left his mark. They hand it to Alexander up the middle. Big hole. Here comes Sean Alexander near side. At the 35-30. Sean Alexander inside the 20. Not, the football is knocked out by Aeneas Williams and recovered by yeah. Rich Cody. Yes. Aeneas Williams just saved a huge play. Thank goodness. That's a great play again. Heck of a job by 35. The veteran Aeneas Williams. With 14 years experience, Williams was the proven leader of the Rams defense. We already know, Ty, we already know. But he wasn't the only star. <laughs> Number 50, team captain Pisa Tino Isamoa led the team in tackles for the second straight season. Oh, it's time to hit the accelerator. We oh, must man. dominate this game in all three phases. Dominate on three. One, two, three, dominate. 91 Leonard Little ranks second on the team with seven sacks. All the secondary's top honors went to number 23, Jeremetrius Butler. He tied for second in the NFC with a career high five interceptions. This is for us, dog. We gonna outrun them and out hit them. They in our house. We gonna bloody that nose, baby. Let's go, Monday Night Football. Let's go, baby. were in complete control of the NFC West. But a one in four skid over the next five weeks nearly dropped them out of contention. You have to fight through this. This is where the difference is made, man. This is where the good teams get better. You can't succumb. You cannot give in to it. The one encouraging sign during the slide came in the one win. Rookie running back number 39, Steven Jackson, recorded his first career 100-yard game against the 49ers. Steven Jackson's got a first down into the, across the 40-yard line to the 43. Behind Jackson's ground surge, St. Louis beat its bitter rival for the 10th time in their last 12 meetings. Jackson rushed for 673 yards in 2004, his third highest total among the he suffered a sprained knee in week 13 and would miss two games. He would have company on the sidelines as the injury bug finally caught up with the Rams. Mark Bolger missed two weeks with a sprained shoulder, and several others would miss time as St. Louis fell to 6-8. and eight. We can't get discouraged, dog. No, nobody can get discouraged. This is the last in play. Go out there and play your game, man. With just two games to go, the injured return one final push. Both Bulger and Jackson led St. Louis to a win over the Eagles, leaving a glimmer of hope at the playoffs. They'll have to beat the New York Jets next week at home, then hope for some help. Playoff hope still alive here in St. Louis. All the way down to the wire. Rams, Jets, somebody got to go home. It all came down to the final week of the season. 
After a Vikings loss, the Rams needed a win over the Jets, and they were in the playoffs. Despite a seesaw battle early, St. Louis was down 26-21, heading into the fourth quarter. New York rushes four. Back to throw, Bulger. Throws one towards the end zone. Wide open, Torrey Holt for the touchdown. The celebration didn't last. New York had just enough time remaining to attempt the game-tying field goal. Snap back, ball down, kick is up. Doug Bryan has tied the football game with three seconds left. We're now almost in sudden death overtime. The first team to score the win. In overtime, Bolger capped off his 450-yard three-touchdown masterpiece with one final seemingly ordinary pass. On second down, four-man rush for New York. Bulger unloads in the flat. Stevens got it in stride. The 25-20. Steven Jackson hauled down inside the 15-yard line. Go. And Mike March says, we're not going to waste any time. Jeff Wilkins, win it for us and send us into the postseason. This is money. It's money all day. Snap back, ball down. Kick is up Get on it. its way. The St. Louis Rams are headed to the playoffs. The St. Louis Rams given up for dead a couple of weeks ago at 6 and 8 have shown heart, character, and determination in coming back and winning home games against Philadelphia and New York. Who said we can't do it? Who said we couldn't do it, Greece? That's what the National Football League is all about. Good, clean, physical football all the way to the end. We're in the show now. We're ready to go. Ready to go. Welcome to Seattle. Feels good today. Rams at 8-8 eight eight, taking on the NFC West champion Seahawks at 9-7. Time is it? It's almost go time. It's almost go time. What time is it? It's go time. Rams swept the season series. They're trying to win three in the same year, and we're underway in the NFC wild card playoff round. again rolled the right arm of Mark Bulger as they jumped out to an early lead on yet another Bulger Holt hookup. The aerial antics continued in the second quarter as Bulger found Kevin Curtis on a 50-yard bomb. Two plays later, Marshall Falk put the Rams up 14-3 with his eighth career postseason touchdown. I just think now, hell, he's not staying on. He's coming off. you got to make the play then. The defense did make the play, limiting Seattle to one touchdown through the first three quarters. Entering the fourth, the Rams nursed a 17-13 lead. Hasselbeck will pass again. Going to fire, crossing route, touchdown, Daryl Jackson. Seattle 20, St. Louis 17, 13-43 to play. After tying it up at 20, the Rams began the go-ahead drive with under three minutes to play. Take the whole clock, go down and score and win it. The play of the drive came as the Rams faced third and two from their own 32-yard line as Bolger found number 84, Sean McDonald, for a crucial first down. Six right here, baby. Offset eye, Falk, and good speed in the backfield. It's play action for Mark Bolger firing into the end zone. Camp Cleland, yeah. got it! Touchdown, Rams! Great job, great job by 87. Cleland's only catch of the game was his only touchdown of the season. The ensuing Seahawk possession. Number 73, Jimmy Kennedy, came through with his only sack of the season. The Rams tried to withstand Seattle. Still clinging to life, the Seahawks had one final chance to tie it up. Rams holding a seven point lead. A stop here, and the Rams move on to the divisional playoff round. Here we go. It's fourth down and five. This is for the ball game right here. Hasselbeck, back, steps up, and loads, caught by Bobby Ingram, no, incomplete, incomplete, incomplete. the Rams are going to hold on. With the victory, the Rams became the first 500 team in league history to win a playoff game. God, what a game, Mike. The St. Louis Rams clawed their way into the playoffs with two late season victories and taken all three meetings from the Seahawks this season. The Rams are moving on in the NFC playoffs. Back to the clean the right West. That's my choice. For sure. It's amazing, man. It's amazing. Run wouldn't last. The Rams.
Rams' improbable late-season surge finally ran out of steam in Atlanta, where the Falcons handed St. Louis its first loss in nearly a month. Rams' season will come to an end here at the Georgia Dome in the NFC Divisional Playoff. Three weeks ago, nobody thought the Rams would even be here. The Rams didn't win it all in 2004, but their resolve was unmatched. Facing more than their share of adversity, they plowed their way into the postseason for a record-tying 27th time. Yes! And in the process became just the fifth franchise in NFL history to log 500 wins. That's who run the West! We run the West! The St. Louis fans have seen it all in the last 10 years. From the sellouts to the Super Bowl. But through it all, the true face of the Rams has never changed. It's been a decade-long lesson in perseverance. They got no idea what they are store for. We're going to finish the game on the field. We finish in the play all day long. All day long. As a team, it's time to step into our destiny. We're going to outrun them and out-hit them. There are no secrets now, man. There are no secrets. They're just passion. Double in on three. One, two, three, double in. The season won't go down as the greatest in Rams history. In fact, they won just half of their games. But success can't always be measured in trophies. 2004 was a testament to the will of the St. Louis Rams. A rallying cry for the relentless and a tribute to the tough. Ram tough. Them Ram boys never give up. Never.